All right, Shalom. This is the brother Kaya from Jim S. New Orleans coming back at you with another quick lesson. Prior to getting started, as I always do, I like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakahakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the Akim that's pushing the truth to sincerity. Lord willing, this video will be edifying first and foremost to the whole field, like, then to those that cleave to the body. And uh, real quick lesson. Oh, and uh, I saw this video and it was intriguing, all right? Especially uh, seeing in the days that we're coming in this, this digital age that we're approaching, all right? And the, the agenda of the elites are the wicked, all right? Intent, you know, a lot of things catch the eye, uh, especially if you're watching, all right? When you see things of this nature, I'm gonna play the video and uh, it's not far off from uh, what 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 can what they can potentially do, cause everything has potential, all right. But we understand that we don't live in the world of fairy tales, and you know everything is uh prophetic, all right. But at the end of the day, all right, this you know certain things should um at least plague your mind to a degree, to a degree, Jake. All right, you should at least be you know up on things. Especially if they are uh, considering, uh, uh, if it's uh, could be potentially uh, affecting you in the near future, all right. Especially with the way uh, you know the, the 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 wicked lust for total control, all right. Their agenda, all right. You'll you'll begin to understand that you know uh, merging man with machine, the last leg of the fourth industrial revolution, all right. Uh, that. You know, we, 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 we right there, all right? You know, in that last leg of merging man with machine, all right? And and it's been um, it's been made public, uh, known to the people about the testing of the, of the, uh, the beat, uh, you know, the, 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 the brain interface, the, the, the chip, all right? You know, di there's different um, ways for them to register data and information on you, so... It's not far about this um this video that I'm about to play. Like this video is not far off or far fetched, you know. Whether it's AI put or whatever, it's just a good look at what the future can bring. All right, along with the the prison. All right, along with what they intend to do. Some of you jakes, man. All right, because whatever set up is set up to, to to keep to kill or entrap Jake to a degree, man. You know. So let me play this video and Lord willing it be out of fun. I'm gonna get a couple precepts. And it's gonna be straight to the point, nothing too long and crazy. Welcome to Cognify, a facility designed to treat criminals like patients. Instead of spending years in an actual prison cell, prisoners could finish their sentence here in just a few minutes. Cognify could someday create and implant artificial memories directly into the prisoner's brain. These complex, vivid, and lifelike memories are created in real time using AI-generated content. Depending on the seriousness of the subject's crime and their sentence, the memories could be tailored to the rehabilitation needs of each subject. The artificial memories implanted by Cognify would be seamlessly incorporated into the existing neural networks of the brain, preventing cognitive dissonance and ensuring the subject experiences the memories as if they were real. The Cognify concept offers a new approach to criminal rehabilitation. You got cognitive dissonance, all right, which obviously, you know, that jumps out, right, because uh, I believe it's the brother Amawan Gabal. And uh, in the in in New York camp, all right, that uh, I, I believe he did a a video on this. All right, cognitive dissonance occurs when a person's behavior and beliefs do not complement each other, or when they hold two contradictory beliefs. Man, that's a uh, uh, confusion. All right, <laughs> you know. That's a wild, you know, that's a that's a wild state of mind. That's a beast-like mentality to have. It says it's caused a feeling of discomfort that can motivate people to try to feel better. People may do the via defense mechanisms such as avoidance. All right. Let's see some example slide. Okay. 
okay. That's the point. It's good enough. I just wanted to get that. All right. Complete asinine. Transforming how society deals with offenders by focusing on rehabilitation rather than punishment. Welcome to Cognify, a facility designed to treat criminals like patients. Instead of spending years in an actual prison cell, prisoners could finish their sentence here in just a few minutes. Cognify could someday create and implant artificial memories directly into the prisoner's brain. These complex... Implant artificial memory. <laughs> An implant artificial memory, man. This, this, this is crazy, man. Alright. Let, let me get this real quick. This is uh, Isaiah 42. This is Isaiah 42 and 22. It says, but this is a people robbed and spurled. They are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. Now, America, Babylon is a prison house. All right. Jake, mine is a prison unto them because they can't uh, unshackle their minds from the, from, from, you know, what's, what's, what's to come. All right. They haven't been um, given that key to open that door to basically uh have the uh senses exercised on 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 you know uh with this with this uh a this ai and this you know all this artificial intelligence and chipping and all what is leading to all right so themselves are, are prisoners all right they're prisoners unto themselves through their own pineal gland through their own minds man it says they are for prey and none deliver it for a sprawl and none say restore who among you will give ear to this who will hawking and hear for the time to come and that's the point who's gonna hawk and hear for the time to come man all right it had to be a a, a a point in time jake to where you realize what's going what's happening all right and what these people intend is they intend to throw you in fema houses or they always coming up with some bright idea, all right? They they don't they don't even go to sleep unless they could uh, continue to oppress you, Jake. All right. So the whole goal is to completely uh, uh, control you, Jake, and they're gonna let you get free prison terms and you know sh uh, uh, short shorter prison uh, sentences and different things of that nature if you just abide by you know some of their uh, experiments, man. Which these experiments gonna cause you to get put to death. Because any any chip you receive, all right, according to um, Revelation 14, you getting put to death, man. All right, it don't matter wh wherever you get it at, all right, or whatever you get it for. You see, same book. This is all I won't get. I just wanted to show that, you know, this could be very be well be the future, you know. And Jay going Jay going to take this uh, nah, Jay going to eat the eat that cookie, man. Right? All oh, could the cookie taste good. He knew it wasn't real, but it tastes good. All right? <laughs> you know? This uh, Isaiah 61, you got to wake up, Jake. It says, who will hear, all right, for the time to come? This who's going to hear, Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of the Lord, thy power is upon me because Yahweh had anointed me to preach good titans unto the meek. And that's the good news, all right? And the meek represents the poor you know, in, in, in earth, but, but, but what? Rich in spirit, all right? That's who the meek is. The meek shall inherit the earth, man. All right? He had, he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive. The captive exile hasten it to be loose. We are they that have been um, exiled from our homeland, all right? And we, and we hasten to be loose, man. We pray to the Lord to short, you know, uh, cut the uh, uh, cut this man devices in the midst of him, man. You see, that's why the, that's why the Lord say he going he would he cannot perform his enterprise. All right, fret not because of the man that caused it wicked devices to pass. The Lord not gonna let him. According to the Book of Psalms, it says, 
and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. So first those graves was open, all right, where we got this word. And ultimately, if we stick to the word and do that which what the Lord say do and believe that Yahweh Shah got the key to hell, <laughs> you know, then we going to get up out of here. It's going to be for a point of time, but we still going to get up out of here, man. All right. Which is the thing. So, yeah, you know, hey, brothers, we still won't be in this prison for long, no matter how they try to imprison us in this in this hellhole. All right. Because we already in a prison. America itself is a prison. All right. We locked down here, man. All right. We can't even access certain genes in our bodies and and, and, and tap into our spiritual own nature and different things like that, man. So this is a prison house. OK. Overall, so uh, the, the Lord have sent the spirit down to, to give um, proclaim liberty to the captives and to open the prisons to them that are bound. So no matter what Esau intend to do. All right. He never he not going to be able to bound the men of the Lord. All right. He ain't going to be able to do that. We may suffer bonds. All right. But the word of the Lord is not bound. So this is the word of the Lord. And it's going to deliver us, man. We have been made free already by receiving the word of the Lord, man. OK, so with that being said, you know, uh, keep keep in mind, I can these these devils is trying any and everything, man. OK, to uh, 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 totally take take you over, Jake. All right. And they're going to come in the way of uh, as if, you know, they as if it's going to be some type of miracle or something. Right. And then Jake going to take it and then Jake going to see at the end his enemy got that the enemy got him, man. So uh, stay on your watch and don't fall victim to whatever he got to offer, man. Because, you know, obviously, you know, it's not of it's not of your how about shim I was shy it's coming from from your enemy. You know that that you should know. You know, I'm going to play this one more time and Lord willing, it be out of fine. Vivid and lifelike memory. directly into the perfume. few minutes. Cognify could someday create and implant artificial memories directly into the prisoner's brain. These complex, vivid, and lifelike memories are created in real time using AI-generated content. Depending on the seriousness of the subject's crime and their sentence, the memories could be tailored to the rehabilitation needs of each subject. The artificial memories implanted by Cognify would be seamlessly incorporated into the existing neural networks of the brain, preventing cognitive dissonance and ensuring the subject experiences the memories as if they were real. The Cognify concept offers a new approach to criminal rehabilitation, transforming how society deals with offenders by focusing on rehabilitation rather than punishment. This is bullshit. All right. <laughs> He not trying to rehabilitate you. He trying to change your DNA, man. <laughs> he trying to alter your DNA. But, you know, that's pretty much it. So, out of wine, right? You know, that was out of five, man. Till next time, I'm going to see you. Shalom.